On this, our 15th attempt at a Linux Gamecast, Oil Rush is finally in beta. Kind of. Rhizome has went free to play. Jasper's journey is now in testing. And then we're going to take a look at the brand new 0AD Alpha 4. Let's go. Okay, by this time, I should have the green screen set up and working. Well, let's have a look at the progress. It's not pretty. It's not that I don't understand how to set the critter up. I do. The problem is, open shot treats, chroma key is more of a suggestion. I can get the desired effect using Rama FX, but... It's a whole other can of chainsaws. So for now, I shall exist in Vin's Box of Solitude. I hope that works. Oh, I should mention that LGC has installed this crazy new system called a Forum. It's like 1999 all over again. Seriously, I ended up setting the... Um, LGC BBS so we can scream at each other and kind of share some ideas on show notes on maybe what's coming up next week so let's give that a shot I think we have a, um, three members including myself to the news So I guess we should start out with our least shocking announcement of this week is Rhizome is now free to play. Again. And I did say again. They've changed the model from subscription to subscription list to a point. Basically right now what you can do is play up until level 125 and slam into a paywall that will force you to pay for the game. If you don't, you can still run around and wave at people, but that's about it. Now, I'm not knocking at... I mean, it's just that Ryzen has went from free-to-play to trial period subscription. Now it's longer trial period than subscription. I don't know if that's necessarily the best way to go about getting new subscribers. I could be completely wrong, but I think in a world where World of Warcraft exists, a subscription model is not necessarily viable, especially when you're competing against games like Regnum, which also has a very well-rounded Linux client that's completely free to play. But, check it out. Go to Ryzom, R Y Z O M dot com, and give it a try. It might be what you um, are looking for in a MMORPG. It might not, but it won't cost you anything to find out. At least not at first. Another large announcement is the availability of Oil Rush for Linux, a beta. If you pre-ordered the game for nineteen ninety-five, you will have access to the current beta and the builds leading up until the final release. And you will also get the full game for 1995. It's kind of big news. I admit I'm hesitant to pay for a beta. Not because I'm against the idea. Oil Rush is a really good looking game and it's going to take a decent amount of resources to play it. Now, when games like World of Goo and Small Platformers I've never thought twice about donating a few dollars in order to get an early look. But with Oil Rush, I'm going to have to hold off because I'm genuinely not sure that my computer is going to be able to play the game at an acceptable performance ratio weight and whatever you want to call it. But if that's something you would like to check out, 
you can head over to the Oil Rush website and toss them a few dollars. And if you do, if you could, email me. Or email the show. I guess it's kind of a show now, isn't it? And let me know how it runs on your system. Another interesting game that's came out recently is Besiege. It's a 3D real-time strategy game. Um, some people have argued whether or not it qualifies as a RTS, but it's fun nonetheless. You control a cluster of ships, and the object is to take over multiple planets in a linear um, fashion. You really have to play it. It's hard to explain the game. You can take a look at the um, footage we captured there. It does require Java, but don't let that scare you off. It's really low on resources and definitely worth checking out. So give that a shot. Um, I would love to see this on my Android phone. I think it would be fantastic for a touch interface. Uh, give that a look. Now, our last bit is Jasper's Journeys. This is a platform game for Linux that looks good. That's rare. We have Secret Mario Chronicles, and that's about it. I don't know of any other really attractive, a professional platform game. So we have Gish, but that's commercial. I should say free. And this will be commercial, but right now, if you want to help out with the Linux demo, follow this link and give it a go. It's the full game, free of charge, but help out and send feedback to the developer. Okay, that's that. Now, let's take a look at 0 AD Alpha 4. One of the main features of Zero AD Alpha 4, Daedalus, is the introduction of AI. And unlike our B-roll footage, I would place myself in a scenario with three AI opponents of different bot types. So, if you stick with this, I will build up the starting scenario and eventually engage in a bit of a scrimmage. Enjoy. Esti, brazo.
Ti esti? Razzo. Razzo. Yes, see? Rasso. Yes, see? Rasso. Esti, razzo. Esti, razzo. Esti, razzo. Ah! <sighs> 